Oh, thanks for the grub, sugar. See, no bloodlust here. Oh, I mean, uh, I bet you taste real sweet. But I have more self-control than that boy gives me credit for. <sighs> so, you've got me here for one night, babe. I'm sure you've got... questions. Or other ideas. You've been shockingly, uh... chill about this whole deal. So I figure you've earned whatever it is you'd like. Yes, really. I mean, running wild out there in the city sounds like a damn good way to end up shot. It would also put the pack in a hell of a bind. Cleaning up and running from my mess, so... Yeah, the boy thinks I'm dumb enough to screw that up. Ah, I feel him rattling around in there, in my head. Thinks I'm hiding things from you. So, for his sake, here's the truth. This whole werewolf business is messy. People get hurt. People get used. We don't always get to choose this life or who we become. Now, I, I can't speak for every kind of werefolk. I'm sure it varies on a lot of things. I just know me and who I know. For me and the kid, we weren't always um, partners. Some folks, there's no difference between the two sides of them. It's a bit more of a uh, natural union, I guess. Born into it. For us, it's, uh, well, he's like a host. I've been around a lot longer than he has, and I've shared a space with others before him. Him and my last partner, they were in a bit of trouble, and we were both going to kick the bucket. In my eyes, he saved me. In his eyes, well, I'm no different from the prick he had issues with. Oh well, if he wasn't such a grumpy little shit... He could go poking around in my dome and see the truth of who I am for himself. But he doesn't like that. Because it's easier being angry. And it is easier being angry. So I don't blame him. Guy I was with before him... was a nasty guy. Uh, I didn't like it either. But, like I said... We don't always get a choice in the matter. Uh, yeah, you could say the, uh, the relationship is strained. Hey, uh, look, don't get me wrong, sweetie. You're real nice. Like, really, really nice. But I only get so much time to be myself, you know? So I'm grateful you're letting me crash in your basement and shit. But I wish I was out there with the gang running wild tonight. It's awesome. Being fast, powerful, the moon beaming down on you. Letting loose in a lot of ways you don't get to when you're stuck sitting shotgun to some loser who doesn't get any ass. Oh, oh, now he's embarrassed. <laughs> ah, it's true. <laughs> You're right. No bitches. D no, no, it's really funny because it's also a dog pun. Oh, yes. You're good. 
Any way you can make the night suck less. Oh, baby doll. You are barking up the wrong tree. I know what those open-ended how-can-I-help questions really are. They're a clever way to get somebody to ask for what you're too shy to say you want. And you better believe there are a lot of things I want to do tonight. I don't want to take advantage of your kind nature. And you don't need to play coy with me. I sniffed you out a long time ago. Yeah, that's right. Not to toot my own horn, but my intuition is pretty sharp. That, and, uh, you've got needy little thing written all over you. Oh, well, not exactly repressed, but more like... You seem like you could really let loose and throw down, but nobody's been kind enough to throw you a bone. Maybe they think you're meek or quiet, even a prude. But nobody's cracked the code and figured out how much fun you could be. And that's a damn shame. Oh, <laughs> no, it's not obvious or anything. It's just little things. I'm making some assumptions, sure. Well, unless I'm completely wrong and I'm just projecting a few things I've been kicking around while that boy's been doing oil changes bored out of his mind. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Go on, then. Ask me what you've really been thinking about, babe. Hmm. Well, hell yeah, I liked you scratching on me. Even on nights I get to stretch my legs, I don't usually get any sugar along the way. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> well, no, it's... It's not offensive if you ask if it's like a dog. But you probably could just find a better way to ask if I like belly rubs. If you're offering, I'm not going to say no. Come on, then. You can climb up on my lap, babe. Straddle a leg and work your magic. Won't get a complaint out of me. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Are you sure? Uh-huh. You like big old boys that could tear you apart, don't you, sweetheart? It's okay. You ain't the first one who thought of playing nice with something that could cause themselves bodily harm. I'm sure you won't be the last. If I'm stuck indoors and you're gonna be such a gracious host, who am I to deny your curiosity? Come on. How often are you going to get a chance like this? Oh, there you go, honey. You good? Mm-hmm. Go on. You can touch. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Strong. Yeah. I reckon I am. You can tell. 
You are an observant little thing. I bet you'll notice plenty more about me. <laughs> oh. The boy is embarrassed. He don't want to admit that this is really... nice. Is he okay with it? Huh. You can ask him yourself. He's here. He's just... not. Uh-huh. Look into my eyes, sweetheart. Don't get shy now. You gotta really look in there. You know, window to the soul and whatnot. <sighs> yeah. It's all right. He's flustered and wants to kick my ass. But he likes it, too. Maybe a little jealous. But he ain't saying no. So if you want to play with me, we can play. He feels all of this, too. It's kind of weird. But it's cool. Maybe if he really likes this, he'll agree to put some damp cream and sugar in that coffee he drinks so much. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Honey, you know, you don't have to stop there. <laughs> I mean, rubbing on my chest and belly is great, but you're really showing that leg of mine a good time. The way you're wiggling and grinding. <laughs> I can tell. Uh -huh. Well, you're practically in a trance. It's not like you're hiding it. And I sure as hell ain't good at hiding shit. So, <laughs> you want to take me for a ride, babe? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. All right, then. Saddle up. <sighs>